What's up everyone, it's Ben. I'm the creator of Final Factory. We're gonna start a new game today. Probably get through the tutorial, maybe some of the early game. Hopefully this will be useful for people that are new to Final Factory. I'm gonna do all the standard settings and we'll get started. Welcome, traveler. You have been sent so this is our little starting area. We have three of the, the primary asteroids nearby iron silicon bauxite. Our first objective wants us to mine the bauxite so we can make some bats, which are the first sort of combat ship that you can create in the game. And we also need some silica, so I'm gonna come over here, mine the silica. And you notice I, I have to you have to pick up the, the ore as you mine it, or else it will disappear. So now it wants me to create four bats to prepare for combat. Going here into this crafting menu, similar to Factorio, we can see our bats crafting in the bottom there, and you can see I'm sort of pooping them out, uh, and they will join my fleet. I have a fleet capacity up in the top here, you can see I have four out of ten, so I could make six more. In fact, I will just make a couple more, because why not? And now it wants me to test out using my abilities, so um, I just pressed V, or down here there's your abilities. Um, so we're going to use our Frenzy, and this just sends the bats into a Frenzy, does a bunch of extra damage. Um, you also have a personal cannon that you can aim, kind of like a League of Legends ability or something. And uh, an afterburner that sort of gives you a dash. So we have some enemies that spawned up here, we got to take care of them before we start building our base. I'm just going to let my fleet handle it for the most part. Enemies in this game will drop research points, so that's uh, one way of getting research, but we're going to automate that eventually. Um, Alright, so we need to select our first research, speaking of. Um, we're going to research mining logistics, so we can start our uh, automated mining operations. And the first objective is to gather iron ore for mining structures. So, pick up some of this iron. And pretty soon we're not going to have to manually mine at all anymore, as soon as we get these these mining structures up. Uh, I'm going to make a couple, because I know I'm going to need more. You can see down here in our crafting queue, we have a bunch being made. And now we need to... oh, we need to build a construction bot. Sorry about that. So in Final Factory, you don't build you don't construct anything yourself you all you get construction bots from the very beginning so if you can see my fleet here we have a, a construction bot hanging out with us and he's going to be responsible for placing the actual structures so we're going to start by mining uh bauxite and it's just telling me teaching me how to remove stuff so you hold right click on a structure um, it will issue a deconstruct command uh, we're going to put it right back because we need this all right, so everything in the game pretty much needs power to operate correctly. So we're going to build some solar panels. And now we have a powered mining station, but we have no mining bots yet. So we're going to need to craft some. Pick up some more bauxite. And then in my working ships, you see we can build four miners now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll see them jump out and join the mining station if you're close enough. Um, they'll just join automatically. I can show you what happens if, if you don't do that. So now we're not nearby any mining stations, so they're go actually going to join our fleet and fly around with us. So we'll need to get rid of this. Um, so we can click on any of these mining stations and hand off by pressing that Give button. Alright, so now these guys you can see are bringing in the bauxite from this asteroid. And they're being dumped into this inventory, so we're just going to grab that. So now we have automated, some limited automated bauxite mining. We're going to have to expand this eventually. Alright, so now it wants me to build connectors. These are similar to, to belts in Factorio. They're going to move items uh, across the, the way there. And we're going to put these in a box so that we can store them up. So now we have a box that's filling up with bauxite. And we're actually going to continue on here. You can see as we're adding more stuff, the power requirement goes up. So we're going to need more solar panels. And now we're going to craft our first atomic printer. And this atomic printer is going to be the first sort of assembly 
automated assembly structure and we're going to create low density structure components out of this thing. So let's place it so that it receives the bauxite from the box. And uh, we're actually going to need a heat exchanger. In fact, there's a setting here that will warn us sort of proactively about heat. And you can see um, that this warning is telling us that it's at risk for overheating. So every every production structure in the game generates heat as it's working. And if things get too hot, they blow up. So uh, much like a real space station, uh, we're going to place a heat exchanger on here to dissipate some of the heat into space. Now, this doesn't actually have to be connected directly to the atomic printer. We could have placed it on anything, uh, anything with available slots. Uh, but for now, this is actually a pretty nice place to put it. Um, now we have our second problem, which is the station is unstable. So there is this notion of stability in the game. And um, what's if things are unstable, nothing will be powered, nothing will do anything. So we need to build station cores, which will grant stability to all connected stations. So uh, let's see, where should we put this? I guess this is fine. And we're going to need more iron so we can build our station core. And I'll explain what I just put down uh, here in a moment. So I just placed this strut here. And this is going to allow us to connect two things together. So they're similar to connectors in that they will connect things together, uh, except they don't move items across. And they will reduce stability cost by five, up to five. For the total for the whole station so we've added this station core and we can see here that it is providing us 100 stability and we're only using up 27 stability and the general rule is stability costs are the same as the area that the building takes up so the uh this the solar panels are take up two tiles so they cost two stability so you can sort of add up the stability cost for the whole for the whole station that way. And stability is shared with everything that's connected to the station. So this game is really all about building space stations, designing space stations, and eventually spaceships as well. So we're gonna need more power still. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna need bauxite for more solar panels. I already can tell. So I'm just gonna queue up some of those. And now that we have uh, heat dissipa dissipation, we have stability, we have, we have power, now we can uh, select our, our structure that we actually want to, or a component that we want to automate. So now we're automating the production of these uh, these low density structures, which are commonly used for making ships. So similar to how we did the other box, we're gonna we're gonna add another connector here, um, and because items can pass through your structures, you actually need to tell the connector in certain cases what item you want to pass through. So we could actually pass through more bauxite to additional atomic printers if we wanted to. But in this case, we just want to output the low density structures that we made. And actually, I'm just going to put this in the box too. But I think we need iron, yeah. So I'm just going to go down here and get some more iron. We should just build a, another mining station down here. But I think the tutorial will tell us to do that in a minute. <clears throat> All right, yeah, we need to research automation. Okay, so now we have those uh, being buffered by this box, uh, but we're going to keep going here and build a assembler. Now, assemblers are different from atomic printers. Atomic printers are sort of like smelters in Final or, or in Factorio, um, so they're they're responsible for converting ore into basic structures like medium density structures, low density structures, and then there are assemblers which are responsible for for constructing more complex items. So in this case, we are going to craft plasma engines. Um, which is an intermediate that takes low density structures. So you can see we're, we're crafting, uh, we're crafting those, but we need more power as per usual. Put slap a couple more solar panels down, and uh, we should be about completing that objective. Yep. Left a couple more connectors here. And again, we want to set the filters so that it outputs those. Uh, that component that we just selected. 
I'm just gonna gather some more ore here so we have some backup ore for crafting, for handcrafting. As you get a little bit further in the game, um, you don't really have to mine, or even if you build your mall early enough, you don't have to craft anything either, but that requires some work to get set up. Okay, that's probably good for now. It wants us to research ship assembly. This is going to unlock the shipyard, or ship assembler. Um, that's going to let us automatically construct ships like these these miners. And you can see, actually, that the miners blow up after a certain amount of time. They have a useful lifetime. And once their useful lifetime is up, they self-destruct. And so you need to continually build more and more miners. So we're running out of miners at this very moment, actually. So we're going to need to... Uh, get get them constructed because we really you really don't want to let your mining drop off because it will slow down your whole factory or even put your whole factory to a stop stand still if you have nothing mining. So we're gonna select miner bots here. All they require is plasma engine parts, and it looks like we're we're overheating again because we placed a lot of uh, structures on this one space station. Okay, so this space station is done, and um, as you can see. It, it sort of has a full production line. We have miners bringing in bauxite. We have a printer. We have an atomic printer producing low density structures. In fact, I'll turn on alt mode so you can see what each thing is doing. The low density structures are going into the assembler, which is producing plasma engine parts. And then finally, the plasma engines are being fed to the ship assembler to make miners. And it says there's no available mining stations. That's because there's only one here There's and it's full right now. So we're actually going to build some more mining, and that ship assembler will feed miner bots automatically to any mining station on the map. So as soon as we power this, you can see here comes the miner across. So now we have automated mining for silica and bauxite, and we're going to let our bots fly over here. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing that we just did. Um, and in fact, I'm just going to... Copy and paste, I think. We're going to need some, some more ore. You can see my construction bot kind of popped out as soon as I finished that solar panel. But we need a lot more solar panels. We need some struts. We need a station core and an atomic printer, which we need more iron for. You need a lot of iron in the start for medium density structures. We really, this is a good, uh, this is a good showcase to show that it's really, it's really advantageous to get your mining auto automated early on so that you're not just m manually mining stuff. I'm just gonna get it ready now. While we're waiting, I'll just try to be useful here. Actually, while we're waiting, we'll go do some combat. Look, there's some ancient ruins over here. So there's a lot of stuff to explore in the game. There is an ancient portal, a cosmic structure of, of origins unknown. Uh, it looks like we really let the, the enemies get out of control here. We might need a couple more bats to deal with this. But I'm going to try to pull a couple in here. I'm just kind of tanking for my bats so they don't die. And they sometimes drop uh, ancient artifacts. So in this case we have a radiator artifact and it will dissipate a lot more uh, heat from a station than the heat exchangers. There's also this obelisk here and that's actually going to improve our engine speed. So it's actually, you can find those things around the map when you activate them, you will get faster. So we're about to see that in action. Assuming I can beat this, this is it's a lot of guys here actually. <laughs> Fortunately, there might be too many. I'm going to use my weak cannon to take these guys out. 
I'll go back over there once once we have some more bats, I'll go back over there. I think we have enough to build all this. No, I didn't finish building it, huh? Okay, let's see. Build me a box. And a heat exchanger. Now instead of this, I could put this heat exchanger here, this radiator artifact. I'm actually gonna change this to circuits. Now we have circuit production automated, which is excellent. And I'm going to get this mining station down so we start getting iron so I don't have to... pretty sick of hand mining at this point. So now, since we just finished that, you'll see uh, automatically our ship assembler is uh, producing, producing the mining bots. So now we have iron automated. Let's try to go over here again and try to pick more of these guys off. I really want that speed boost. You could probably sort of ninja it without having to kill everything. We'll see. And we can activate these by, the by sort of mining them, firing them back on. Power. If only this twisted space could be unraveled, so that we may hop along the stars unhindered. Alas, only the Leviathans offer us. I'm gonna let my bats tank while I so snag this. Grow. So that was a 15% base speed increase, which is really nice. Fortunately, my bats are dead. Again, so I'm just gonna get out of here. All right, it wants us to craft an inserter, so let's craft a couple inserters. Let's actually let's just go through here and kind of grab some of the ore, so I don't have to, so I have stuff loaded up and ready to go. Okay, so this part of the uh, tutorial is just teaching you how to. Oh, I think it wants. Actually, what we're going to do, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to um, just use this as the output. So the inserter is going to grab the AI circuits out of there. And now it wants us to research cargo logistics. Okay, so we have we have circuits going into this logistics bay, and the logistics bays are for cargo drones. And cargo drones are going to be the longer range unit that carries items between things. So um, they fly above things, which is really convenient. So I'm going to place them right here, and then he's going to go pick up the circuits. But he has nowhere to go right now. But what we're going to try to do is create a new space station sort of over here where we're going to bring together the circuits and the plasma engines. So that's our goal right now. Let's see how we can line this up. Honestly, I might just... Just kind of lining all this stuff up. So now this is going to output the plasma engines to our this other logistics bay. And now we need a new station, maybe in the middle here, that's going to be our production for um, it's going to be our production for research bots, bats. We're going to get a bunch of stuff automated from this. This one wants me to build this down here. I'm kind of getting ahead of the tutorial because I know I'm so familiar with the game. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do actually is I'm actually going to bring this up all the way to this. So we need a couple more cargo drones. These guys need power to load up the, the stuff. And as per usual, we need solar panels. I 
I'm just preparing this now because I really want medium density structure production automated because you need so many for different structures in the game. So let's see what we need here, actually. Probably iron. Yeah. Luckily, we actually have a lot of iron here. Okay, well that's going. Let's try to kill some more stuff. Because we do have we have an absolute infestation over here. It'd be nice if we could if we could kill some of the spawners, it would really slow down how many are spawning at a time. Uh, I guess I didn't mention this portal right now. Um, if, if we find more portals, you can instantly fast travel between them. So it makes uh, it makes for some interesting sort of factory layout uh, decisions later on. This is actually going to produce um, these guys. And I'm just going to put them in a box here. We need a heat exchanger. Okay, so now we have um, high density, high, or sorry, medium density structures being crafted, which is used in like all of these recipes. So that should make our lives a little bit easier. But our mining, our mining uh, infrastructure is pretty weak sauce right now, so I'm gonna have to add some more miners, I think. So that 40 medium density structures is just going to help. I'm going to expand my mining here. I actually think what I'm going to do... Yeah. I'm about to really ramp up my production of box site here. It should help tremendously with our production. Okay, so we have some decent mining going on and we still need to create a research bot in the ship assembler. So let's Let's continue on with that objective. And then we really need more uh, low density structures, unfortunately. Honestly, we could oops, we could further develop this because you just need so much bauxite in the start. Okay, let's build our ship assembler for research bots. Oh, well, we need to research asteroid science. Remember, that's why I was going in there before. So that just unlocked um, asteroid research bots and the corresponding research center. So let's first set this up so that, so that we're producing bots. These require the circuits and the plasma engine parts, which is exactly what we brought in here. We need to fix that throughput problem, but first I want to get this going. That is going to be circuits. This one's going to be engine parts. Our, th our thing is on fire, so we definitely want to deal with the heat problem before it gets out of control. And we need more solar panels. As always, soon we're, we're about to get antimatter power, which really makes your power problems go away. Okay, so we have no available research stations because we haven't placed them yet, but I did just craft two. So I'm going to use this iron asteroid for that. Oh, we need more solar panels, of course. 
I'm not sure how many. Let's place two for now, I think. I think we can support two with one. If not, we can always expand on this. In fact, I am going to expand because I want to automate bats so that we can go uh, destroy the Vec over there. All right, let's see what we have. Um, fleet Command 1 increases my personal fleet capacity by 20. That's really good. I'm just going to get that. And we should have a lot easier time dealing with the uh, the enemies. I'm going to make bats out of here. So conveniently, bats and uh, bats and asteroid research bots use the same thing, so we can sort of piggyback off of our production line there. Oh, we need more low density structures, as per usual. We don't have enough throughput here. This this would be nice if I uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to put another box. We might be getting close to the stability cap, or 88, so we got to be careful about that. And of course, power is always a problem. At some point, I'm going to redo this. This is kind of spaghetti, and we'll have a proper, we'll make a proper line for those. And we'll make a bunch of bats. Right, so I'm just going to grab. Okay, so we're at 14 out of 30. And we just got bat damage, so I think we're gonna we're gonna have a lot easier time. Grab exploration centers. Actually, I'll grab this first, so we can buffer our uh, bat production, which I'll show you in a minute. All right, so this should go much better now. We have so many more. Frenzy takes four bats, so if you have 20 bats, you, you can use five frenzies per cooldown, and uh, it just does a ton of damage. Now we're really just getting in here. It really helps to have more numbers in this game. So you can really you can snowball pretty hard. Bats are not great at killing structures, but we'll get we will get units that are good at that, and eventually we'll be able to build like battle big battleships and stuff. So, all right, we've dealt with this problem. These guys are not going to respawn, which is nice. Oh, and the I forgot about our objectives, but it wants us to open the map. This is the map view. We haven't explored too much yet. We can zoom in and, and get a better view of the the factory this way. Uh, we could copy and paste from this view, all that good stuff. You have proven yourself capable of wielding all right, so the tutorial is complete. And we have a nice fleet going. We have automated bat and asteroid science going. We have two research centers. Uh, our asteroid bots are scanning the asteroid. They're giving us science, which is fantastic. Congratulations, the tutorial is done. The factory goes forever. Our next, obje next objective is to produce research bots from ship assemblers, which we are currently doing. So we'll just let that kind of go. Now, what I want to do is our this is a mess, kind of. Let's let's make this better. I think. I think the goal here is to make a nice line of of box sites uh, of, of low density structure production, sorry. And I'm just thinking of the best way to do this right now. I'm gonna deconstruct a little bit. So that actually won't fit there, that's okay. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay, so instead of this box, we're going to destroy this box. 
and we're going to feed everything into this um, into this station core. We'll just leave this alone. This is fine. And then we will bring over this to this line. So this is going to be our um, our new production center for low density structures. And I'm just sort of planning things out right now. But we're going to need a bunch of atomic printers. And actually, I should go around and pick up all my components so I don't have to wait for things to craft. We actually have quite a bit of stuff lying around, so. Oh! We have a duplicator, so I've, I must have picked this up when we were killing the enemies. Duplicators will increase the production for a station. So you can see this little production bar is filling up now, and once that fills up, it produces an extra unit, which is just insanely useful. It will save you a lot of materials. But the caveat here is it costs a lot of power. So if we look at our power production, one of those costs 20. And in fact, if you start stacking them, they, they exponentially increase. So I'm going to slap a couple more solar panels on here. Should be good now. I'm going to build a shipyard for my bats. So this is just going to be our place for housing bats. And as soon as I place this on here, the bats are going to go live in this shipyard. And in fact, in my own fleet management, I can request certain amount of units from the logistics network. So right now I have 25 bats in my fleet. Um, I'm going to request, say, 28. Then I can have two um, construction bots in my fleet. So I have I have 38 or I have 28 right now. So if I if we go and try to find something to attack, and I'll craft some stuff while we're roaming around here. Pretty quiet out here. Here we go. Oh, another portal. So as soon as I activate this, I'll actually be able to teleport back right away. Totally not scripted. We really made quick work of that camp. In fact, I didn't even lose any bats. I was going to show the replenishment logic. Let's just keep going a little bit, see what's up here. Now, the further I go from the center, the stronger the enemies become. So you can see in the minimap down here, um, the enemy strength continues to increase the more we move away from the center of the map. So you want to keep your eye on that. I lost two bats in that engagement. But that's okay, that's pretty... those are pretty easy camps. So let's head back to base, activate this portal. So if we go inside of it here and click Nick to lift, that was our... that was the portal we went to first. Or we activated first, now we're back at base. So if I go near the shipyard, you can see bats will fly out to my fleet. Because we lost two, so just two just came back out, so you can automatically replenish your fleet. I'm going to connect these with struts. So this has the dual benefit of reducing the stability cost of the overall station and um, and it also connects us to that station core. We're also going to need outputs here. We need sort of low density structures, like always. That is why we're building this factory here. This will be our buffer for low density structures. And this is all going to be oxide ore production. And then the outputs are all going to be low density. And the way I'm doing that is I'm right clicking I'm um, shift right clicking the building and that puts that low density structure recipe in my clipboard and if I you know 
if I shift left click something else, it applies that filter to the to the connectors. So that's just kind of a a quick tip to quickly set production and um, filters. We do need another cargo ship to carry stuff between this. So you can see the cargo ships kind of act as like big belts. It's almost like I put a belt between these two. We actually very much need a heat reduction here. And our power is absolutely abysmal. We desperately need antimatter power, really. But that's okay. I mean, we're at least getting some production here. It's not that it's not that slow right now. Let's see what we're at. We're at 68% production here. The flashing icons are the thing that bother me the most, honestly. <laughs> and you can kind of see when we're designing space stations, you really got to take care to have the right amount of slots available. So right now there's nowhere else really to put solar panels, so you have to be mindful of that. Well, let's continue down the tech tree. I really want to get antimatter power so we can research radiators, which is actually really nice because they dissipate a lot more heat than just the heat exchangers. And I'm immediately just going to jump to antimatter power, but we're going to have to wait a little bit uh, for that research. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're unstable right now. So we can show the power of struts here. So that strut just reduced the stability cost by two because it was connected to a thing that was to an area. Do it again here you know, for a little bit more stability because our power problems are just getting worse. Unfortunately, that is going to also cause problems. So we can put more struts to shore that up. And now this is all powered up, so that's great. Okay, so um, at this point, we have completed the tutorial. We've developed our infrastructure out pretty nicely. We have we have bats all queued up here in our shipyard, ready to go to, to war. Uh, we have a really nice low-density structure production line, fully automated. We have mining in each location. We've explored a little bit of the map. We've unlocked a couple of portals. So I think that'll do it for today. Uh, next time, we will expand our base. We'll get antimatter power. We'll start building some cargo ships, hopefully some battleships um, with our mobile stations technology. And yeah, that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching.